Hi everyone. So this is now my second time filming my post-clinical video from here and not from my car. And that's because this time I broke my camera mount. So I couldn't film while driving. So here I am the next day after clinicals. So as I mentioned in my previous video, and as you can probably see from this title, I'm doing my current placement on a med surge floor. And if you don't know what med surge is, it's basically a mix of like medicine patients and post-surgery patients. It's not a critical care unit. The patients on this unit are stable, but you see a wide variety of patients. You see patients with all kinds of um, like infections, illnesses, comorbidities, ailments, just everything. It's a really good unit to be on if you wanna be exposed to all kinds of things and learn different kinds of skills. So how I begin my day is after receiving my patient assignments, I then go to the nurses to get the patient reports. And the nurses basically just fill me in on everything about that patient, like the reason why they're admitted, what their diagnosis was, how oriented, how oriented the patients are, how dependent they are. Um, it's basically a chance for them to give you all the information about that patient so that you can get to know the patient before you actually see them. So once I've got my report, I prioritize who or which patients I'm gonna see first. And then on a sheet of paper, I just make a quick little schedule for myself where I write down important times, like medication times, um, when to get blood sugars, when the patient's meals are. And then in between those times, that's pretty much when I do like my basic fundamental care. Oh yeah, and then between the report and the patients getting their breakfast, that's when I run into the rooms and I do vitals, um, head to toes, I collect blood sugars if necessary, and then I prepare meds and administer them as well. So my experience this week, I was assigned two patients this time, and one of my patients was a lady who was there because she's having severe pain in her lower extremities. She was a tough one for me because she required a lot of heavy care and she was a heavy patient. I'm a very small girl, so it was really tough. On top of that, she was dealing with a few infections, so she was on contact precautions, which means that every time I entered her room, I had to don the proper PPE, which was gown, gloves, and eye protection, which obviously we're already wearing because we have to wear eye protection now. So when you've got someone on contact precautions, you wanna be as efficient as possible. So every time you go into that patient's room, you wanna try and get as much done as possible. That way you avoid having to run in and out and donning and doffing your PPE constantly. And apparently, apparently I am very inefficient, okay? Because I ran in and out of her room like every 10 minutes, meaning every 10 minutes I had to put my PPE on and take my PPE off and like, I swear I used up like half the hospital's gown supply during my shifts. My second patient was this elderly gentleman who had been placed on end of life care and working with him was also really tough on me, but for different reasons. These are for like emotional reasons. It was really hard. Like this guy, like this man, it was clear that he'd been fighting for a long time and like he'd given up his fight and he just wanted to let go. He kept saying things like, please God, like just take me away. I don't want to live anymore. So because he'd been placed on end of life care, I didn't need to check vitals and all of that stuff. I pretty much was just there to make him comfortable really. And even seeing this man in his condition was really heartbreaking. He was just this like teeny tiny skeleton of a man with just skin draped over his bones. He was so, so tiny. He did not have a bit of fat on him. I had to give him give him um, an anoxaparin shot at one point and like there was no fat on his body for me to pinch. Like there was just nothing there. He was so tiny and his skin was so thin. Like I've never seen anything like it. I was changing the dressings on his skin tears and I thought I was gonna like peel off the rest of his skin with the adhesives. Like it, it kind of freaked me out to be honest. So that was just a brief look at the patients that I had this week. Same unit, but two very, very different patients. As for skills, I didn't get to perform any new skills that I hadn't done before. Um, my instructor did find a man who needed, an, who required an IV insertion, but this guy had like no veins on him. <laughs> Even my instructor could not find a vein and he'd been stuck so many times that she didn't feel comfortable with me doing it. And honestly, like, I didn't feel comfortable doing that either. So I would have rather leave it to somebody with experience. So as for other interesting procedures, I did get to see a pick line insertion. And if you don't know what pick line, if you don't know what a pick line is, it stands for peripherally, 
insert no peripherally peripherally inserted central catheter so what a pick line is is it's a long catheter that's inserted into one of the peripheral veins and it's fed through all the way into the uh, superior vena cava of the heart and pick lines are used for people who require long-term medication so rather than a patient being stuck continuously with like ivs or injections every couple hours a couple of days they have a pick line inserted into them and that way the medication is just locked into a port on the tubing and it avoids the constant needle sticks so using an ultrasound the pick nurses selected one of the patient's antibrachial veins which is like one of the veins here in the inner elbow area and they insert they made an incision and then they inserted the catheter and fed that all the way through to the heart this was really interesting to watch because the nurses let me be there for the entire process from beginning to end and they walked me through it step by step and explained to me everything that was happening. On the ultrasound, they showed me the difference between nerves versus arteries versus veins. They showed me how to select a good vein and like the whole thing, like it was just a really cool experience. I'm really glad that the nurses and I'm really glad that this patient especially let me sit in and watch that because it was really cool. So that was my clinical experience for this week. I've got one more week left of clinical shifts before I have to choose a site for my consolidation. So I'll let you know how that goes.